Okay, so we are looking for an explore today. We're just walking up this road to it. We parked back there. However, this might be whistle stop because I did bring my big battery pack to charge my phone with. And when I just got it out, it was on zero. I've picked up the wrong one. So I'm not sure how much battery I've got left. I have got a little bit, but not enough maybe for a big explore. So we're just gonna have to make the most of it, see what we can find and see what we can capture. Um, so I'm gonna turn it off for now and I will switch you back on when we get there. So I'm back and it's a different day. As you can see, I look different. We abandoned the last trip because I didn't have enough battery. We had a bit of a mare getting in where we were getting. We got there um, and someone else was in there and they were a bit weird, so we left. So we've come back and we're doing a different explore today and we are just trying to find our way. Um, where we want to go is in there. Um, we're just gonna find a hole in a fence somewhere. So we were going to hop over the fence, but we've just realised that you can actually get through here. They seem to have gone through a lot of trouble putting a fence up, but then it's just open here, so... Just close it behind us and just hope no one shuts us in. We can easily climb back up. <laughs> yeah, we'll climb out if we need to. So today we are... So today we are at a lorry training facility which is going to be knocked down and they're building a housing estate here so we've just come before that they knock it down. Looks like we've caught it just in time because there are some diggers here. I think this is quite a big site. Um, there are a few companies here but the lorry company used most of the units and once, once they left in 2017, I think, I believe shortly after all the others started to leave and then it became derelict and now it's been sold for housing and a care home, I think. So these buildings are long gone by the look of it they don't look that safe however i do think there's a few bits and pieces left so we'll see if we can find anything interesting I'm sure there's probably people in here probably doing the same as what we're doing All right. So This is, um, it was DAF lorry training facility. I think it was the headquarters and they've moved. But there are still some things here, look, you can see. Obviously they used to probably do maintenance or something in here, I'm not sure. I like that. It's the only thing that looks not wrecked in this place. <laughs> As you can see, we didn't have to break anything to get in here, it's all open. So here is the fuse board for this building. This is cool. Um, I don't particularly want to open the ones that aren't open. I don't think the electric's on, but I'm not going to chance it. 
There's a calendar here from 2016, which I think is the year before they moved out. Got pictures of their lorries. This is like a bathroom or shower, bathroom, tiled. Don't know what that would be. Empty room. the toilets, men's toilets, uh, with the toilets gone, the urinals are still there. It's upstairs, I'm trying to find the stairs, go away, this way. Another fuse board. restaurant stairs oh maybe that big building was a that big room was a canteen or something all right george has found the stairs so let's go up this must have been open a while i don't think there are any alarms in here because it's pretty Nothing much interesting in here. Rubbish graffiti. I like nice graffiti, but not absolute rubbish. This looks like a canteen as well, doesn't it? I think there's probably more stairs down somewhere as well. There was something cool I wanted to find and it was on the staircase, but I don't know which staircase. that trashed I would have thought because it's been open quite a while there'd be more graffiti but I mean there is some graffiti but not a lot there's none down here look Something that I wanted to oops Let's see. That's cool. in a lorry we have driven in here because there's the big door lots of emergency buttons service book safety <laughs> I 
lots of glass on the floor if you can hear it that's cool and actually the glass on that actually isn't even smashed that's cool 1928 to 2008 80 years of transport innovation so these are more big doors here so i guess quite a few lorries would have come into this area and had done whatever they do <laughs> i'm not quite sure so many buttons yeah, I think that's to open and shut the doors. I don't know. Right, so right, there's another. They've started to demolish this. You can see they've piled up all the wires, all the metal, because they are to build houses here so yeah this bit looks a bit iffy because you're moving yes it's there oh, that is cool really cool so it's pretty much just a normal industrial unit and it's pretty boring really it's just standard offices canteens and warehouses but the stuff like this that's left behind with the lorries on is pretty cool i'm gonna go up and have a closer look Someone's graffitied the middle, but considering this is an empty while, the graffiti isn't bad. I mean, the graffiti is terrible, but there's not much of it. I don't think there's much else to look at in here. In fact, I think we're probably going to leave soon, because I think we've seen the main things that we need to see restaurant was that way it's all just pretty standard and a bit boring really health and safety notice board would have been here most of it's on the floor yeah they are taking this place apart as i've already said the doors have taken off well, no, this floor is dodge. yeah look they've taken up all the floors here i'm not going to go in here because there's really no point there's nothing, there's nothing interesting in here. I just really like the lorry memorabilia that's been left behind. Right, I think we're going to make our way out now. Have a quick look in the other buildings. Or not, I'm not quite sure. I actually don't think there's anything very interesting in the other buildings. So I'm just making a new up here. Okay. I don't think there's any point looking around all this because it's just industrial where units, there's nothing interesting here. Just thought it was cool. The um, lorry bits and bobs that we found. <laughs> yeah, look, you can see the, they're obviously piling this all up. Piles of cables, piles of metal, and there were some piles of doors. So, yeah, they're maybe salvaging some of the bits because, look, and it's actually really good. There's no graffiti. Whoa, that was really creaky. That freaked me out. These walls, how often do you see walls like this in an abandoned place that's actually quite trashed? Quite unusual, isn't it? But no, it's just office space, look. It's not... That's trashed, but I mean, the rest is boring, look. 
Oh, look. What a great effort at graffiti there. <laughs> Not. Not. I actually was going to straight away leave and not come in here, but there looked like some boxes of things on the floor, so... Microwaves. That's where we are. Which won't be here soon, it's going to be houses. The bulldozers and things are already outside, so I don't think this is going to be here very long at all. Little kitchen actually looks. These cupboards look quite new, don't they? None of this is trashed, and I know a few. I know a few doors have come off, but on the whole, looks quite new. Dishwasher manual. They've took the dishwashers out. They've took the white goods out, but. This is just no point looking around these guys. They've even taken the floor out. Right, we're making our way back out. So this is the last look of this business park because soon it is not going to be here. Oh, I just walked for a cobweb, man. Let's walk for a cobweb. There, there were just some people walking past who was hiding. Or rather George was and I was just stood there like a lemon hoping they didn't look around. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for today's video. We hope you enjoyed that little look around and really pleased that we managed to capture that because I think in um, one or two weeks I don't think that's going to be there because they really were starting to take it apart so I think soon that's going to be completely flattened so really glad that we got to document the little bits of lorry memorabilia and stuff that were left so i think that they looked quite cool and made it a little bit more interesting so hope you enjoyed um please like and leave a comment um and subscribe if you haven't already because that really helps me out thank you and take care and speak to you soon goodbye and p.s i'm really trying to get to 500 subscribers by christmas so if you could really help me out by pressing the subscribe button, it is free and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.